all I wanted to say about that though. So I'm just gonna go ahead, pop that back over there, out of the way, and then grab up RimWorld here. There we go. There's RimWorld, okay. Let's actually get into the game, shall we? It's been a couple weeks since we've played, so I don't 100% uh, remember everything <laughs> that we've been doing in here. I do re vaguely remember everyone dying, uh, <laughs> and we're just trying to we're just trying to make it by now. We have a bunch of jerky going, I think. Yeah, we got a bunch of jerky. We, I think we're done making jerky for now, though. We're just going to collect up some regular meat because the jerky, like, doesn't spoil, right? I think that's why we were doing that. Meat, raw food, food, deterioration rate, zero. I guess it doesn't say anything about it. Uh, last indefinitely. There you go. It says right there. So, yeah. So, we made a bunch of jerky, so we shouldn't have meat problems for a while. We have plenty of crops growing. The colony's doing pretty well. We're going to go ahead and click play here and let it get started. But, man, has it been hard going. <laughs> Mostly our fault because of the way we decided to set up the colony in the first place. Uh, made some things damn near impossible. And then we kind of whittled that back, and then the raids started. <laughs> and that wasn't too bad, right? We dealt with the raids reasonably well for the most part. I think we might have died in one before we rolled it back, but uh, that never happened. Um, but no, then the crash landings happened, and there's been a bunch of crash landings for the Mechanite Hive people. I don't know what the hell is going on with that. I feel like it's uh, an excessive amount. But anyways, we uh, decided we would try to take care of one of them because we didn't want the the negative consequences of that, that ship being there. And everyone that we sent to take care of it got brutally murdered. So that that didn't go so well for us. Uh, now here we are, man, just trying to pick up the pieces of the colony. With all that said, though, I had more plans of things I wanted to do with this colony, right? I wanted to slowly work up through the ages and whatnot uh, and the tech tree and 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 for this to last longer but i think we are gonna have to cut it off relatively soon that may happen naturally right if we just end up dying which is a decent possibility or we may have to pick like an arbitrary stopping point and uh try to make our way there and, and call it at that point because a new expansion's coming out a new expansion's coming out one that actually sounds really cool that i'm pretty excited for and uh, I want to play. Like, that's <laughs> that's that's all there is to it. And uh, with the giant mod list that we have right now, I don't know if it will, if the new expansion will work or not, essentially. Um, so we're going to do a closer to vanilla one next, I think. It probably won't be 100% vanilla. Um, I imagine we'll have some, some basic mods in there. Like, the... The manager mod, for instance, is one that I really like. The colony management mod. I'll probably go ahead and leave that one in. Um, I'm sure there's one or two other ones. I'd have to look at the mod list. I'm sure there's one or two more, though, that, I would, that I'll would that i leave in. Uh, assuming that they're updated in time, that is. But that's enough about the future. In the meantime, what do we got going on here? So, let me reintroduce myself with everyone we have. We have Chocobo, who is mainly our cook, so they're not going to be doing much else, probably. Mr. Noodle is a little bit of everything. Animal handling, oh, that's right, we were having problems with the, the lions. We had to get rid of a bunch of them because uh, Mr. Noodle is not good enough with animals to stop the lions from going wild, and they kept attacking us. Um, but other than that, she mainly grows things. That's fair. Greg? What do you do, Greg? You're our constructor. Fair. And then Rue. Rue just kind of does whatever we need done. Right now, they're set to mostly crafting stuff. Um, and when they're not doing that, they're just... I'm assuming doing some hauling? Yeah, doing some hauling. Fair. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, are we actually getting some... We're actually getting some stuff made here, man. We got some cider going over there. That's awesome. A uh, member of the Central Republic just bought a bunch of garlic cloves. That's fine. Um, we probably have a fair bit. I mean, because, like, we don't only have that food here. We also have all this food up here, food up here. We actually have a fair bit of food saved up. And, okay, we got some roaming monstrosities. 
That's good. Is that what damn near killed us last time? No. I don't remember. What do we got? We got a canine paragon. And a chicken rabbit hen legendary. Uh, I don't know if the quality here really means anything. But tameness never decays for animals of very low wildness. Training decay interval petness. Is <laughs> okay. Huh. That's fine. Let's go ahead and grab everyone. I don't think we have anyone that's like a... Uh... Excuse me. <laughs> I don't think we have anyone that's like a pacifist or anything like that. So let's just go ahead and grab everyone and get them to come over here real quick. Get them in places first and then we'll deal with maybe trying to get them laid out a little bit better. We know Mr. Noodle has a sniper rifle. So you can go there. Chocobo, you got the shotgun. Greg, it looks like you also have a shotgun. So let's get you guys up in the front line here. And then Rue, what do you got? You got that, oh, you got that pistol thing. Uh, that's probably gonna be too far away. I guess you'll have to be like right behind them here. And hopefully you don't get murdered. Come on, hit him, hit him. There we go. Next one, the chicken hen. Uh, Rue, I really don't like you shooting like right past them there like that, man. That's just asking to get them shot in the back of the head. That wasn't too bad. It's too bad they have greater scaria, so they're gonna they're gonna rot. Um, why were you forbidden? It's weird. Anyways, what do we want to try to get done? We are trying to make this here, so we need granite blocks for that. Do we have? Did we ever get around to getting a? Uh, bench made we did okay we are supposed to be making granite blocks it's just not being done i'm assuming Rue's too busy doing other stuff do we have your mining set higher than than crafting oh it's a level three it is okay Ooh, we had a bunch of tea leaves right away that sucks man um do we not have granite in storage? I feel like we probably have enough granite in storage to at least get started on that project. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel just this one and this one. That way it's unreachable. And since it's unreachable, uh, Rue should ignore that for the time being. Paying the respects to someone. Who, who are you paying respects to? To Nate, actually. <laughs> Nate Alistair, the cult kid, dead. Never would have guessed, man. That's nice of a uh, of Rue there, I suppose. How are we doing on steel? Do we need to be mining this steel up right now? Where's our metals? Uh, that's components. Yeah, I guess we we must be pretty low on it. So that's fair. Go ahead, mine the mine the steel for a bit, Rue. Noodle's doing a good job collecting up all the, the plants. Rice in that case. We have more food rotting away. Uh, <laughs> limiting ourselves to having, like, this ancient technology really sucks, man. <laughs> like, I don't think I've ever played before quite like this. It's so, like, I'm used to being able to have a colony where one of the first things you do is build a refrigerator and uh, throw down some kind of electricity producing thing you know whether it's a early windmill and some batteries or a uh, wood fire generator that's what i like to do i know some people don't really care for the wood fire generator but i'm all for it man get that get that wood fire generator going wood is a renewable resource on most maps so like it's not that bad hmm <laughs> oh okay <laughs> Well, uh, I'm a little scared to click on it and see how bad this raid's going to be. Game's got it out for us, man. Jump to location. Okay, four people. That's not too bad. They have some armor, but they're all using melee. Yes, they're all using melee weapons. So that's not too bad. And it says they're going to prepare for a little bit before they come in and fight. Are they preparing for a little bit? Okay, yeah, there they go. So we're going to let everyone get a little bit of rest real quick. That's probably enough. Let's go ahead and get you guys to chill over here for a moment. 
that notification scared me. I thought maybe they uh, were starting their attack. Okay, we'll go ahead and get people in positions. We want Chocobo in the front, Rue in the middle, although I do worry about Noodle shooting you in the back, I'm not gonna lie. And then Noodle right here. Uh, what is your range? Oh, okay, they're coming. Come on, guys, get them, get them. Oh God, God, why does our aim suck so bad? Oh God. <laughs> Oh no, okay. Um Uh I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Chocobo, maybe try to run away. Okay, down to one over there. Oh Rue, you're gonna end up shooting Greg in the back so much more than anything else. Okay, they're running away. They're running away. We're good. Nice. Okay. Um and it does look like we got a wiggler here, so. You're bleeding out in three hours, so you're probably going to die before we can actually do anything for you. Bleeding out in 12 hours, though. That's not too bad. You're big-boned, eccentric, ascetic, and kind. You're incapable of social and animals. That's not too bad. Really good at melee. All right, Michelle, you let she... <laughs> Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and have to capture you, my guy. Uh, first off, let's undraft everyone. And then... Grab Mr. Noodle, capture, and Greg. How you doing? You're bleeding out. Seven conditions need tending? Holy shit, dude. Uh, health. That's the tab we were looking for. Not too bad, though. Just, just bruises and cracks for you, Chocobo. So, Rue, we're going to go ahead and have you capture Udaline Logger, however the hell you pronounce that name, and hope for the best. And then, uh, I'm sorry, you, you are too close to, to dying, so we're just going to... You're bleeding out in 20 hours. We'll, we'll let you just go home. You'll probably die of natural causes. <laughs> we could put you out of your misery. That would be preferred, but... Uh, mm, <laughs> about that. All right, hopefully Mr. Noodle or somebody will take care of them real quick. I imagine, yeah, that's what Noodle's doing now. Uh, oh, you guys are guests. Okay, that's fine then. I saw the all the red names on them. I thought the red names usually meant enemies, but they're they're chill. They're just relaxing. That's that's fine. Okay. I'm waiting for them to, like, turn on us or something and try to murder us. Okay, you're both... Yeah, you're both dead now. Okay. Guest has nothing to eat. Um, Put up a nutrient dispenser as a vending machine. Or gift the guest some silver or rations. Oh, I never thought about that before. Gifting hungry people food. That's an interesting idea. Rue, what are you doing? You're consuming a simple baked good? Okay. When you're done doing that, trade. Eat your food and then... Uh... Excuse me, Rue? Can we not... Can we not trade now? I guess because he's asleep. Well, that's fucking annoying. <laughs> like... Uh, somebody got... Greg got an infection in his right ear. That sucks, my guy. Hopefully we can get that taken care of and we don't have yet another colonist death. You're at risk of dying. Didn't we take care of you already? Oh, yeah, you're you're fine. You're fine. And we got a mad boomalope. Uh, okay, we actually do kind of have to take care of that because otherwise it'll blow up. And that would be a bad time. Chocobo, you just have scratches and bruises and stuff. So we're going to grab you two. Come on. Get the boomalope. G get him. Ple please get him. Ple please somebody at least hit him. Oh, my God. The boomalope blow up. Whenever okay. Thank God. I was going to say, they blow up whenever they die. So you really want them to, like not die right up on your colonists or whatever. And thankfully it's raining out, so the rain will help take care of the fire too. Which is nice. 
Right, we need to keep an eye on uh, Xanthus, see when they stay up. We can at least give them some, like, pemmican or something. The idea of setting up a nutrient dispenser as just a uh, vending machine is pretty cool, but I'm fairly certain you need electricity for nutrient dispensers to work. And we don't have electricity, so <laughs> it's not going to work so well for us. All right, Xanthus, you got to be getting up soon, right? Come on, my guy. Wait, are you awake now? Are you just, like, laying there? Oh, no, you're still resting. Your rest is, like, damn near at a hundred. Your rest is going down. Why is your rest going down when you're just chilling there? Sorry, are you sleeping or not, my guy? Cargo pods? Weapons? A birch spear, really? That's what you had to... <laughs> That's what was so important. You dropped a birch spear and a mahogany axe. Okay. Oh, there we go. They're up. Uh, Greg, we're not going to use you. Mr. Noodle, though. How rested are you? 59%. Chocobo's got 83%. Yeah, Chocobo. Trade. Oh, my God. <laughs> Your negotiator cannot talk properly because of poor health. This will affect trade prices. That's fine. We're just going to gift anyways. Gift you some... I guess some pemmican, because that's what we have the most of. Is our jerky not in this list, or were they just not... They just don't accept jerky. Fair enough, I guess. Um, Look, I know it's not exactly good food, but here you go, man. Here's a... How much do we have to give you to get any points? I mean, it is pemmican. Okay, yeah, we're obviously not going to give you that much. We'll give you, like, uh, 12. 12 pemmican. That way you're you're not starving, at least. Because you're you're pretty close to starving. Yeah, there he goes. He's went and ate his pemmican. That's that's awesome. I, I'm glad the game actually pointed that out to us, because I never thought to do that before. Can't <laughs> talk good. <laughs> uh, all those uh, bruises that you got to your face. You want to try? You want to try what? Oh, wait. YoPlay now has yogurt with cereal to mix in? That sounds good. Honestly. I mean, that's kind of like, a, isn't isn't a parfait, basically? Yogurt with some cereals and things mixed in? All right. Let's uh, get that hauled in quickly. And... Chocobo, you're like healing up a little bit, but it's still just bruises. Do you have minor blood loss? When is this boomalope gonna expire? Two days. It still has two days. So we'll we'll let him Guess has nothing to eat. I gave you food. What do you mean? Did you eat all your pemmican already, my guy? Oh my god, you're the worst. Alright, Mr. Noodle, you're you're supposed to be the one that deals with the people. We'll give you a simple meal, but we really don't have much food ourselves, man. Right, go back. Uh, gift. One simple meal. Can we see, like, what they have in their bag? Here. Huh, maybe not. They have a diamond gold bracelet? You mean to tell me you can't afford to buy some food off of me, but you're just walking around here with a diamond gold fucking bracelet? My guy, what are you <laughs> what are you on about? Jesus, man. These people are crazy. Looks like they have Cocoa Puffs, Lucky Charm, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and Tricks. I bet some Cinnamon Toast Crunch would taste good in there. Get some of that cinnamon sugar <laughs> mixed in. That'd be pretty tasty. At archery. Okay, we were watching Rue because we're hoping Rue. Okay, well, now they're harvesting. I'm hoping they'll start making some blocks because we want to get that, uh, that bathhouse made, man. Obviously, bathhouses are like the pinnacle of <laughs> ancient existence, right? Should we get someone else mining? You're hauling. 
You're trying to train Carl. You're cooking. I, yeah. I mean, the only one that I don't think is doing anything super important right now is Mr. Noodle. But when Mr. Noodle isn't training, they should be planting and harvesting stuff. So, or doctoring. So, like, they're still doing pretty important stuff. And Greg is, like, the only hauler. We could maybe have Greg help out with the mining for a little bit. Chocobo has the inspired mining, so they would do really well at it. But, like, you're our cook, man. And we're damn near out of food. So, <laughs> don't think that's going to work either. Not enough guest beds. Well, that sucks. Guest has no food. Yeah, I'm kind of done dealing with you, Xanthus. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, my guy. Sell your fucking diamond bracelet. And maybe you would have some food. Just throwing that out there as an idea, my man. I wish we could set areas as like... Anything in this pile you can have for free. Maybe too many guests. Yeah, I mean, there are too many of them right now. That's why guests can't claim bed. But we can't control how many come in. It's just random, the size of the party. We could, of course, expand our uh, our guest area here, but I think we have bigger problems right now. <laughs> uh, everyone's resting. How much longer are you going to be here? <laughs> kind of, just kind of want you to leave, man. Oh god, now there's someone else, and now Mal has nothing to eat. I mean, we can just not charge people for food, but because our food situation is so poor, like, if we could force them to only take... Okay, they're leaving anyways. But if we could force them to only take, um... Like, the cheap stuff, like pemmican or jerky or something, then I would make it free, but we have, like, no fucking real food, so... <laughs> Normally just put on some modest mouse to clear them out. So what you're saying is we need to build a radio here and uh, just play the worst thing we can think of. Sadly, it doesn't look like we have radio tech yet. We do have some recreation stuff here, though, that we uh, don't have built. The five-finger fillet table, that one's fun, but they can't hurt themselves on it. And I imagine it's probably the same... No, this one is probably the same kind of recreation as chess. I don't even know how to say that. In a fat to full uh, archery target, which we have rim colony. I'm assuming you would need electricity for that. <laughs> we definitely don't have electricity. Oh, the thermobath. We're trying to build that. Got another group visiting. You guys aren't completely poor, it seems like. You're able to pay for rooms at the very least. That's a good sign. Ruse playing some chest, harvesting oak tree. Have you finished the mining yet? You have not. Um, I also, I mean, it, it's steel. It's fine outside, I guess. I was going to say we should probably haul that a little more urgently, but who are you visiting now? Is it Nate again? Yep. Rue must have really had a thing for Nate there, man. And then, uh, dude just went and died. <laughs> Wonder how that happened, Mr. Noodle. How did Nate die? The world will never know, I guess. Oh, that's the first one that died. The first Nate. On the 8th of December, 5,500. Three years ago now. Hmm? Oh, nothing. Just wondering how your first uh, husband died. Or wife. I think Nate was the woman in this situation, right? Just wondering how your first wife died. That's all. I don't know if there's a mod or anything to do it, but it'd be cool if you could take all these, like, bones that are just laying around and grind them up into some fertilizer or something i'm pretty sure the dubs bad hygiene mod which i'm running um you can use all of this sludge as they call it and turn it into some uh what the hell is chocobo wearing is that a gas mask <laughs> what Mop mask snow. M-O-P-P. -P. Protect against radiation through shielding in the lining, but more importantly, by preventing direct contact with or inhalation of radioactive particles or gas. Nice. Okay, then. <laughs> you just weren't my soulmate. Wasn't meant to be. Oh, <laughs> uh, sure, sure. <coughs> Good 
feel like we should maybe cut back on more of the food growing, to be honest. We have so much of it. What are you doing now? Okay, you're... Oh, there's still more mining to do. <laughs> so much mining. We're not even using the steel for anything right now. We must just not be uh, at whatever our limit was set to. I'm pretty sure we do have the job set to count all things on map. So it should be counting the stuff that we haven't dragged over yet. Okay, yeah, and we are really close at least. Oh, wait, no, it's not set to count all on map. Count all on map. Well, that's fine. More visitors, more visitors, all from South Korea. We must have pretty decent relationships with them. Probably not, yeah, I was going to say, probably not going to have enough uh, guest beds for everyone either. Our plan was, the hope was, is that we'd be able to make enough food that we could then have serving trays out here so they can buy regular food, but... Ugh. <laughs> As you can see, with uh, only having nine desserts available at the moment, <laughs> we're, a little, we're a little short. Chukba, are you wearing... Are you wearing any other clothes, or are you just wearing the gas mask? Oh, no, that's like some sort of shirt. It's just a, a very nude-colored shirt. That's that's fair. You comfortable out there, Whitehead? I hope so. <laughs> I don't know exactly when that next expansion is coming out. I'm pretty sure it's meant to come out sometime this month, but I don't know when exactly. And uh, some of the new features are already available because, like, they do what RimWorld usually does whenever they release an expansion. They take some of the smaller stuff from it and include it in the free version. Um, and to give modders a chance to get things working as much as possible before, you know, the expansion or a big update comes out, they'll, they'll put stuff super early in the beta channel, the unstable channel. That way they can go ahead and get everything fixed up before the release uh but obviously there's going to be some mods that take a little bit longer than others hence why as i was saying we're probably going to switch over to mostly vanilla whenever that time comes okay now you're doing some crafting some actual crafting though so i mean what are we making fezes that's our like that's our clothing for our group so that's that's fair Chocobo and Shorty are no longer social fighting. Oh, Chocobo got in a fight. Nice. And then pants, t-shirts, parkas. Uh, that's all fair. We do need clothes. <laughs> like, clothes are pretty important to the colony, I find. Hey, look. We had a birch light club and a plain leather heater shield. That's super helpful, man. Thanks, game. Twat, twat critiques. <laughs> Role was unfulfilled. Uh, we can't really do anything about that because we don't have enough people following the religion anymore the, to have any, like, officials in it. Because everyone died. <laughs> well, now, there might... I think there is technically enough. Like... Because... If I remember correctly, Rue Man, yeah, because they're they're the inventor of the Rue Lights. And then Mr. Noodle and Chocobo are both original colonists. So there are technically enough, I guess, to, to get someone to be the Twat Critiz. Oh wait, Greg? Is Greg one of us? Male ritualist. What? Wait a second. Everyone is a ritualist? Bro, how did that happen? <laughs> I'm all for it, though. So now that we have that Fez, we probably need to get someone into that role. We got a bulk good trader and an animal transport pod crash. Uh, I mean, we'll try to save Tiz. Bleeding out in five hours, though. That's not much time, but we're going to do what we can. And then... What was the other one? Oh, we got a bulk good trader. Okay. Okay. Noodle, after you're done with that, I know you're sleepy, but we're probably going to have you talk to 
what is it, Zolidicus? To try and do some trading. So we can offload some shit. And we got some visitors. We're just the, the hot spot of this, uh, this area right now, man. Alright, treat the animal. The little bunny, how's it doing? We got to it in time, at least. It's super close, though. Blood loss extreme, like... That was way too close, man. But it looks like it's going to be all right. Noodle, what are you doing now? Cutting some tall grass? No. Trade. Do that instead. All right. So you have... What kind of animal is this? Sheep. We could get some sheep. We do have a, a thing set up over there. A pen. So if we buy a, a U and a ram... Uh, do we buy some camels, too? Fuck it. Buy some camels, too. That's a male and a female. So those are breeding pairs of both. That's good. Uh, and then, is there anything? We have 954 jerky. I'm actually going to keep that. We'll sell a bunch of our peanuts, though. Like, 150. Wait. Can I not type numbers in here? Do I have to use... Maybe I have to use the... Pro nope. Okay. I just can't type numbers. Oh, because I didn't put a negative first. There we go. Uh, cabbage. We'll sell like half of them. Neg neg negative 80, please. That's not what I typed. Negative 80. There we go. Keep the jerky. Keep the berries. Peas. We got a shit ton of peas. I know Noodle doesn't even like peas. Sell like 250 of those. Keep the rice. Peppers. Corn. Garlic cloves. 348. Look, I like garlic as much as the next guy, but holy hell, my God. <laughs> it's too many. Celery. Nobody likes celery, apparently. Negative uh, 1,163. Just... <laughs> Jesus, man. We'll keep the potatoes. They tend to keep for a long time. Don't need to buy any cloth or anything. Any of these things that is really small. Well, we're probably going to be getting more camel hide. That's what these drop, right? It's camel hide, I'm assuming. But stuff like fox fur, we're probably not going to be using too much of that. Guinea pig fur, same thing. Everything else, there's a decent amount of. So we'll just keep a hold of them for now. Apple cider wood. Alright, junk clothes, t-shirt, sell, plain leather. Oh, those are our fezes, we'll keep those. Musk ox wool veil. Yeah, we don't need that. Keep the gold. All right. They'll give us 451 silver. We'll give them a shit ton of groceries. And we get some animals, man. We get some new animals. Which, I mean, is more stuff Mr. Noodle's going to have to take care of, I suppose. But, like, we might have to make this pen a little bit bigger, too, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Nutrition growth 1.05. Hopefully, wait, do they not need pens? Pen needed. Yes. Okay. Animal handlers will bring animals to their assigned pens automatically. We have a pen. The pen is right here. Do we have to like assign them to it or something? Handler, master, no. Not in a pen. Maybe maybe it just says pen needed because they're not in it yet? Mr. Noodle, you're an animal handler. Oh, I know what it is. I forgot. Pens technically need a, uh, a gate. A fence gate. You can walk over them. Like, people can walk over them just fine. They don't actually need fence gates. But, uh... Oh, that sucks, Joke. I just realized you lost everything. Um, and ink. <laughs> Wait, what? Pen and ink? Uh, anyways, yeah, like, people can actually climb over them, but it doesn't recognize it as a pen unless you, unless you have a fence gate on it. There we go. So now that message went away, and Noodle should be able to rope up the animals.
There's one. Are you going to get the other one? No, you're cleaning dirt. I really don't care about cleaning the dirt right now. I'd much rather you pen up all the animals, man. Okay, yeah, see, just with those two animals, this pen already isn't large enough. <laughs> so we're definitely going to have to make it larger. Um, a lot larger from the looks of it. The animal you rescued doesn't want to join the colony. Well, good luck making your way out of there. No, I'm joking. Well, uh, is there a way to, like, release it? I guess the only thing we could do is maybe, like, hold the door open the next time someone goes in there. Structure, fence. Just make this, like, a lot larger. This is... That should be that should be large enough after we get that built we'll like open up one of the sides and let them go over there medical emergency why what's your problem malnutrition extreme no one's been feeding you is that the problem why has no one been feeding them god you're about to malnourished we had this problem before didn't we we do have... Oh, no one has a high-level warden set up. Okay, Greg? No, you're... You have double passion for it, though. So, Greg, yeah, you're now... Top priority, or one of, at least, is wardening. It's gonna pull you away from uh, building stuff some, but... At least our prisoners won't starve to death. <laughs> And it turns out it's kind of hard to get people to join when they're dead, so... <laughs> Probably worth it, man. I'm gonna feed him some apples, that's fine. Can you then go feed uh, the other one too, maybe? When you're done with that? No, you're resting? How about, instead of resting, you prioritize delivering some food, my guy? <laughs> just, just something. It's still weird to me that we take the food in and we put it on the bathroom floor. Like, why, dude? Gonna get your shower and the mix care fries. Are you sure you don't want any? I mean, if there's enough room left on the plate for carrot fries, then sure. Um, can you not get up? Yeah, you have zero moving. So, Greg... Prioritize feeding. You went and delivered a meal, but the dude is literally passed out. He's so malnourished. Like, you missed part of what I said. I said, like, if you're sure there, that you can fit enough on the pan when you cook it, then yeah, I'll, I'll take some. But if uh, if you can't fit enough on the pan for, for both of us, then that's fine. Like, I have soup and stuff to eat. Dessert times nine right away in storage. You know what? Since the colony is going to go the way of the dodo, anyways, I think we give up and we make some fridges. Do we not? We might not have refrigerators yet, though. Production. Pipe network, security, uh, hmm. Okay, we should have cooler tech at least though, right? Yeah. So it's gonna be cold in here. <laughs> We're gonna get that built. And then power, wood fire generator. I was trying not to do this, but God damn it, man. <laughs> the series is ending in soon anyways. Let's just get some power so we can stop having so much food get wasted. The less food we waste, the less uh, time we'll have to spend dealing with it or making more. The apiary needs 25 more flowers around it. What? Are we Jonestowns again? <laughs> uh, I, 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 we're going to have to, the, hmm. I don't know what's going to happen, right? That's the, the beauty of, of RimWorld. Uh, but I imagine what's honestly probably going to end up happening is the entire colony will die again.
for one reason or another. And then, yeah. Uh, but I figured in the meantime, fuck it. Just <laughs> make some electricity and uh, why not? Because I thought this was going to be able to last much longer, assuming we didn't die. But I really want to play with the new expansion when it comes out later this month. So we're, we're putting some things on the fast track, I guess. And it will help out the colony a ton. <laughs> Having a, a actual cooler in there. An actual refrigerator for the food. What are you building there? Oh, the other bee house. I didn't realize the bee houses needed so many flowers. So I don't know if we're ever going to actually get bees or not. But whatever. We'll let them, we'll let them try. Hauling steel to wood fire generator. Good, good, good. Hope you got some warm clothes, Chocobo, too, because it's gonna it's gonna be rough cooking them meals inside a freezer. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could have built like a different room off to the side here or something like that for it, but nah, where's the fun in that? Which actually, for that reason. We're probably going to want to change the way we have things stored here a little bit. So I'm going to grab the wooden toss shelves. We Can we put pemmican over here? I don't know if we can. No. Because I want to get the pemmican out of there and probably the jerky as well. So that we can store just ingredients in here. So it's going to make things a little bit cluttered. But let's get a... Uh, double shelf I think or tall shelves let's get wooden tall shelves I guess I could put it like back here that's not too bad something like that after we build copy corner and deconstruct tall shelf because for the food that doesn't really expire, I mean, pemmican does technically expire, but it takes forever, man. So we can throw that out there, throw the jerky out there, and then leave this just for, like, the meals and stuff. And since we'll have, like, an actual refrigerator, maybe we can start trying to get the overflow meals and stop letting people buy just our ingredients and shit. That would be nice, too. So what's the priority on this? Can I not see? Do I need, like, okay, there we go. Critical. Let's put you on important. Why is it on critical? I mean, I guess we'll just leave it to what it's at, but I didn't think we had it set to critical. You're on important. You're on, oh good, the lion is hunting Mr. Mr. Noodle. You're on preferred. So yeah, why are you on critical? That's weird. Uh, okay, so where... <laughs> are you locked in a room with it, Mr. Noodle? No. Where is this lion? Right there. Okay. Time to put the lion out of its misery, man. Draft everyone. Get them to come back. Chocobo. Mr. Noodle, keep running. Okay, there we go. I need everyone to draft and hunt. No, wait, it's a tame animal. You're bleeding out. Oh no, you're you are technically a wild predator now. Okay. Grab everyone. Uh attack you. Cannot hit target. Uh, there's a mod that I don't have that I've seen other people use. That it's like a search and destroy where the colonists will actually seek out the enemy. I want that mod, man. <laughs> uh, that's bad. Don't hit. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Turn off drafted hunt. Undraft, everyone. Okay. Mega sloths are powerful things, man. We don't, we don't want that going up against us right now. Finish off. Bye-bye, lion. It was nice knowing you guys. <laughs> Does my pemmican have choke berries in it? No. <laughs> No, it does not. I 
I don't know why they would do such a thing. <laughs> Putting choke berries in pemmican. Uh, for context, Noodle and I watched a recipe on how to make pemmican on a YouTube not too long ago. Got a gift. Cool, cool. Do you like me a gift every now and then? Greg's doing some management. I'm gonna eat some Smarties, cause I don't know, I like Smarties. Chokebo is making more pemmican. We must have sold a lot of it or something. But those are your favorite. Choke berries are disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> like if you were dying and had to eat something, maybe. But otherwise, man, just not worth it. Honestly. I'm going to go ahead and crease increase the storage rate for the other two because i mean that one's on critical anyways and if we put all this other stuff on critical it should move some of the the groceries from people's homes into here it'll be nice to just have everything kind of stored in one place together know what i do really enjoy Smarties, although I just accidentally dumped some of them on the ground. Hold on. I'm going to pick those up real quick because I'd rather not run over them with my chair and have Smarty powder all over my floor. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It looks like it was only three that I dropped. I can deal with three. Or two. I say three, it was two. Do we lower Greg's hauling for a little bit? I mean, he is getting stuff built. It's just taking him a while. You got the robot vacuum plugged in. I can just run her. I mean, if we didn't have the door closed and everything, maybe. But, hey, after you build the wood fire generator, maybe put some wood in it, my guy. All right. 20, 24 degrees seems reasonable. Uh, also, Chocobo, not only... <laughs> Not only are you going to be working in the cold now, but you're going to have to work in the dark, too, for a little while. Let's uh, deconstruct that. I'll get you a light, though. We should have lights around here somewhere. Oh, it's under power? Mm, no. Furniture? Wait, do we not have the ability to make lamps? There's a light ball. What are they called? Oh, maybe it's called a lamp. There we go. Wall lamp. It's kind of weird that those things can stack together, but whatever. Greg, deconstruct the wall-mounted torch so this room can cool down faster. And then... Can you... Okay, you must have already been working on it or something. Stop cloud-watching. Finish the damn thing. <laughs> Is there something else? Does this produce heat? I think this produces heat, which I mean, it makes sense, I guess. It is a stove. Damn it, dude. Okay, we're gonna have to move it. Uh, reinstall at. We're gonna have to make a little kitchen over here or something, I guess. It's gonna look funny, but oh well. Reinstall at. Grab it. Reinstall at here. And then you reinstall 
here. And then... Oh, wait. Damn it. We need to move it again. My mouse just broke. There we go. Last time. Last time we're moving the damn thing. Because we need a door. I just realized we need a door, too. Obviously. Okay, so reinstall that. It's going to be a tiny little kitchen. Uh, here, I'm pretty sure. And then you, yeah, we'll go there. Structure, regular wall, please. And a door. Just a single door is fine. Right about there. And I guess we'll make another one of these. Or actually... Nah, we'll, we'll build a copy. There we go. Oh! Shit! That's... Pr I mean, I've already did all that work, so I'm not going to change it now. But the, the problem probably wasn't the fact that, uh... <laughs> that the stove was running as much as it was probably the fact that we have vents. <laughs> so we're just cooling down this entire building right now. <laughs> that... God damn it. <laughs> oh well. Like I said, we already we already got the stuff being moved. So <laughs> And at least now Chocobo won't be freezing while they're while they're working. That is that is nice. And it will give us extra space if we want to build more shelves or, or something. So I mean, oh well. Okay, is my mouse dying or something? Holy hell. I also want to move you now to here. Seriously, dude. Like, hello? <laughs> Ship landed, frigate. It's the first time I've really had problems with my wireless mouse. It's kind of annoying. Okay, copy, Greg, what are you working on right now? Apparently nothing, drinking water. Uh, prioritize working on fueled stove. Get that moved for us, please. And then... Prioritize working on that. And then... The chair. And then the door. There we go. Everything in here should be frozen now. Uh, when you're done with that, work on the shelves. We'll get the walls for the kitchen up eventually, but in the meantime, like... <laughs> Apples have rotted away in storage because they're not in the right storage. These ones should have a lower priority. All right, if we go to storage, yeah, just important on the other ones. Greg, please tell me you're working on what I told you to work. Yes. Uh, not really. Hold on. Work on the door first. Damn it, Craig. I don't... Craig, I don't care about the wall. Who's starving? Probably Craig. Or Greg. Craig, Greg, whatever. Okay, eat your meal and then work on the tall shelves. Oh, and then did this... Yes, it did remember all of its stuff. That's good. I was, I was worried it wouldn't. Need warm clothes. Rue should actually be working on that. Yeah, it's just not getting hauled. But we have some pants and things. That's good. The next thing they'll make is parkas, assuming we have the material to do so. Now we just need someone to haul the shit. Oh, uh... You guys, are you still alive? Yeah. Greg? Oh, is it sick? Wait, it... it what? Dehydration. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't know we had to give them water. I mean, it makes sense. But I've never... Uh, damn it. Okay. Uh, hygiene. 
I'm assuming we need like a water trough or something. Not just a water bowl. Yeah, there it is. Right next to what I was looking at. Water trough. Wooden water trough. Damn it, dude. That sucks. I was looking forward to sheep to having some sheep around. Um, let's put the water trough right next to the there. I don't know if it matters which way it faces. There and there. Greg, what are you working on? You're rescuing the ram. Okay. No, oh, well, the ram's dead too. Well, we got some meat now at least. Work on those. Get some damn troughs over there. Bruh. <laughs> I can't believe we fucked that up. I mean, I can believe it, but it sucks. All right, let's get another one of these baskets made. Um, I don't know. I guess I can just go like here. Yeah, like that or something. And then we'll get... That's, is this just a meat shelf? Is that what we were using it for? No, there is some other stuff. What if we look at storage? What all do we have? We have an actual meat hook. Which, that's an idea. A skip? Hmm. Medicine cabinet, clothing rack, shelf, weapons rack. Um, what kind of shelves are these? Are these the tall shelves? Yeah, let's just, let's just go ahead and build a couple more of these. Build copy. That should be good. Oh shit, it's time for a break, man. Just looked over and Twitch was like, you got 30 seconds, boy, you better hurry up. So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and take our break. I'm gonna stand up, take a stretch, do all that stuff. I suggest you all do the same and we'll be right back in just a few minutes with a little bit more of RimWorld. Greg, refill that whenever you come back. Anyways, okay, BRB guys. he lost his humanity and attacked his own kingdom yeah what they said <laughs> it's like this is what like a 50 60 hour game or something like that um maybe maybe 40 hours is a little more accurate but anyways there's there's a fair bit of story and since it's split between multiple different characters all of their the different character stories overlap in some ways um so you like figure out bits and pieces from playing each different one and whatnot like so it, it can definitely get to be a little confusing. I uh, I know I've been lost more than once. <laughs> you're lost, yeah. Well, you're not the only one, I promise. <laughs> oh lord. We're all after uh, after we finish this game, we're just all gonna have to look up lore, explaining videos, lore videos on YouTube to to really understand what's going on here. Like uh, like what you find for Kingdom Hearts all the time, man. Explaining all the ins and outs and how the different characters interact with each other and do their thing like Five characters and then a series of five final battles Oh, you're you're all uh decked out man. You got some like fancy brass armor or something on look at you so fancy I wish we didn't have a power gauge Oh good, you're a teleporting one. That's that's my favorite. <laughs> oh lord, it's gonna be it's gonna take lar longer and be harder to kill the freaking wizard that's teleporting all over the place than the boss of this level most likely cuz teleporting dude sucks. <laughs> yeah, see, boss is dead. Now we got to slowly, very slowly take care of teleporting, bro. Oh Jesus. Oh, we recovered from flame. Is that because we touched the ice elemental? So the ice elemental uh, put us, well, tried to freeze us, but balanced out to put out the flame? Like, that's pretty cool. I'm assuming that's how that worked. I could be totally wrong on that. I don't actually know, but that's that's what makes sense to me. So I'm going to I'm gonna say that's what happened. <laughs> there we go. Everybody dead? I think everybody's dead. Nope, there must be someone alive somewhere. Ah, oh, it's a flying boy. Very high in the sky. Uh, I don't even know if I can reach you. I I actually can't. Um, will you come down a little bit, maybe? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Why are you so high? 
Get down here. <laughs> uh. Are there any lore explaining videos you and Rumai had to make one? I'm sure someone's had to make one, though. If you guys decide to make one, I mean, by all means, let us know. I will check it out. <laughs> Alright, heal up again. While it's doing the, the countdown thing. This is our life now. At least for uh for this chapter. If we had the map and knew how far away we were from the, the final fight of this area, then I would be a little less hesitant to use my food. But since I don't know if we're going to end up doing, like, you know, two more rooms or t five, six, seven, eight more rooms, like, I'm a little hesitant to, to down all of my, my eggy toast and shit. Ugh. If it helps stream, there is a way to check on how each story connects with Alice and the app. All right, all right, we're back. And hopefully Greg here will be getting some water for our animals so they don't die. Or he'll just be taking a nap instead. That's fine too, I suppose. Rue, you're not doing anything important at the moment. Refill that trough for us, please. Because, I th yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure the animals are getting thirsty. I mean... Dromedaries, I'm pretty sure these are basically camels. So, like, I'm sure they're fine for a while, but they're still going to need to drink sooner or later. It really does suck that both of our sheep died. <laughs> oh, boy. Cooking four simple meals. Okay, when you're done with that, do some butchering, man. Wait, why are you taking stuff over there? Is the other one full? The other one must be full. Because we do have everything set to critical now. Right? Critical. 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 Yeah, okay. So must just be must just be full. You're feeding potatoes to one of the guys. That's fine. And then get the other water trough built. And I guess get this food basket built. And now with the two dromedaries, yeah, okay, we still need a bigger pen. It doesn't need to be this big anymore, but, uh, I mean, I guess we might as well. Greg, are you not doing what I told you to do? No, you're just wandering around aimlessly for some reason. I mean, that's fine, too, I suppose. Wait, yeah, no, you never built the thing I told you to build. God damn it, Greg. <laughs> Greg is a giant pain in the ass, man, let me tell you. Um... Copy settings, paste settings. There we go. All right, Greg. When you're done eating, I don't care about you visiting the grave. Come construct this damn trough, man. Thank you. Now refill the trough. These dudes need some water. Or they'll die. All right. Now we'll let Greg do whatever the hell he wants to do. Although we might force him to build this room a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, that's right. We can do the roll now. Um, here. Begin leader speech. Now, how do we do... Roll change. There we go. Choose new roll. The Twachtkertes. Moral guide. So, Mr. Noodle, that's... You're not a twat, Curtis, right? You're, like, the mayor or whatever? Yeah, you're the mayor. Can you have both roles? I don't think that's right. Uh, I mean, who better to be the twat, Curtis? The moral guide than the god themselves, Rue. So, we're going to make Rue the moral guide. Begin. Isn't it beautiful? See, if whenever I went to church as a kid, if things started glowing and symbols started appearing in the air and shit, maybe I'd be a bit more of a <laughs> Just saying, man. Some impressive stuff right there. 
Are we out of meals? No, we have one. I guess Chocobo was just in the mood for some... For some berries. I mean, that's fine. Oh, Greg. What are you... You're feeding people. It's kind of important, I guess. I guess. Consuming your own simple meal. And now you're going to sleep. Rue is harvesting some trees. That's fine. Uh, didn't we want you doing something? that We wanted you making blocks. That's what we wanted you doing. How's all of the clothes going, though? We need another t-shirt now. And we still need both parkas. You're playing chess. Finish up the clothing, because it is going to get cold soon. So if we can get that stuff taken care of, that'll... That'll help a lot. Oh, garlic, like, never goes bad either, man. Two, two and a half years almost? Okay. See, if we were really wanting to be picky about it, what we could do is take, uh, like, have a refrigerated area and a non-refrigerated area and separate out the, like, the root vegetables and stuff that basically never go bad in one and then everything else in the other or whatever, but, yeah. Um... Honestly, I feel like we don't need that many shelves. We have more... We have more fresh produce than we do other stuff, like drinks and things, right? So I'm going to build another one of those baskets instead of that other shelf. That sound sounded bad, but all it's saying is Rue reached level 14 of intellectual. That's not a bad thing. Uh, Rue, you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do now, man. You're getting awfully tired, my guy. Yeah, go ahead. Go take a go take a nap. That's perfectly reasonable. Doing colony management. Noodle is harvesting. Good. Everything is going swimmingly, actually. Um, what we are going to do, since we do need things to go poorly, and we're starting to make some concessions i guess to get things to go faster um we're gonna increase the difficulty again so options well actually before i do that though i'm gonna make a quick save uh stream eight just in case things like go poorly right away because <laughs> i the expansion's not out yet i'm not trying to murder us right away but uh yeah I'm blind. Storyteller settings. Strive to survive. So adventure story is the... Like, recommended for people who want to pursue funny or weird goals. So that's what we're doing. We'll go up to strive to survive, which is like your, your normal setting, I guess. Things are going to be a little bit harder. The big problem, like, we don't have that many people right now. The big problem, I think, is that we would be considered somewhat rich because of how much furniture we have. For instance, having, like, a cooker in every house isn't a normal thing, right? That's not something you would usually do. Extract milk from hybrid milks? Huh. Okay. <laughs> sure, I guess that's a thing. Are we making coffee and tea? Do we have that in the queue? An eclipse? That's fine. No, we don't. Okay, so make coffee, make tea. Do until uh, 10 of each should be fine for now. Oh, and for the pemmican job. Vegetarian. Or no, I guess that wouldn't be vegetarian. Do, like, milk count as an animal product? No. I was hoping for pemmican we could, like, mix some milk in. <laughs> Doesn't make much sense, but, you know. Would have been helpful now that we are getting milk from these guys. Although, hey, Greg. Prioritize working on this fence, my guy. Because we're quickly running out of food here for them. To eat. And you're going to bed.
Everything should be frozen in here. Frozen won't spoil. Yep. I mean, the jerky's not going to spoil. Oh, good. We got this one here now. Okay. So this is going to be critical priority. Um. Well, actually, no. You know what? This one will be... Yeah, we'll leave it on critical because we have all those other ones. And then what we'll do is copy... Jesus, man. I can't. I just need to... Thank you. Copy the settings from here. Paste them here. And then let's go through this. Um, actually, you know what? Clear all. Don't allow anything rotten. But for sure, we want pemmican. And jerky to be allowed here. And then... Can I, like... Select all across map. Select similar on map. Yes, good. Okay. So I want to... I can't change the settings from here, though. Mm. I guess I'll just have to turn off the jerky and pemmican for here. I was hoping I could just lower the... Uh, lower the the priority of all the other ones but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen okay jerky's already turned off there then our meat shelf storage jerky turn off okay so those should get moved out there now what else are we allowing in here though wait meat rotted away and why was the meat being kept over there we must be out of room here Damn it, dude. It's so freaking annoying. Alright. Anyways, we were looking at our storage situation. Oh, kibble. We probably don't need kibble to be in here either, though. That probably means that it's full. Um. Anyways, let's see. We don't have meals over here, right? We do. So let's turn meals off on this one. And on this one, we'll turn off everything except for meals. Yeah. But like, is this one full now? Seven of eight stacks. It can hold eight stacks of stuff. Most of it's jerky. Maybe we should... I guess maybe we should cut back our jerky production a little bit, especially since now we do have a, a freezer. The main reason why we were going with jerky so, so soon is so we could have space for that stuff. But anyways, okay, this one here. Storage. Uh, copy settings, actually, and then paste settings. Oh, wait, we don't want pemmican over here either, though. Looks about right. I'm sure there's some things that we miss, and we'll just have to keep an eye on the stuff that pops up up here. New lovers! Oh, the two prisoners. <laughs> okay. Oh, speaking of the prisoners, they've just been sitting here. We forgot to go in here and actually set them to uh, reduce their will. Oh, you have like next to no will or resistance anyways, man. Good. You guys should be easy to get to join the colony. It's too bad we didn't do that forever ago because we probably could have had you by now. But oh well. <laughs> it happens. And then I think what we're going to do is expand this zone into all these other gaps here. And uh, 
Just make sure we have this set. Don't allow rotten. Allow all food except for meals. But have this set to a lower priority than the shelves. So it's just kind of like an overflow sort of thing. Copy, paste. Okay. So now most, if not all, of our food should be stored in one place now. Which means we can also go into the zone manager. Clear allowed areas, shops. We no longer want people buying stuff from in here. Because soon we should be getting enough meals and stuff that they can be stored out here. And actually, what I'll do to help that along is in this storage, I'm going to disable simple meals. So that they go out there first. Where is just regular simple meal? There we go. Because then they should go out here. Condiments. Chocolate? We don't sell. We'll sell some chocolate. That's fine. And we're getting raided. Excellent. Uh, Yeah, we don't want uncooked soups. Do we want condiments out there? I mean, I guess that's okay. The only problem that I have with it is potentially... They can hold 10 stacks. So between the two, they can hold 20 things. How many condiments are there? A fair bit. But I mean, we're not like making that many. Yeah, screw it. Allow condiments out here too. So basically everything. Just not uncooked soup. And... Chocolate. Condiments. Condiments. Okay. Maybe... That will leave it for now. Maybe at some point what we'll do is change it so condiments are only allowed in one or something. Uh, oh, they're dropping in. That's not good. I was going to say that probably means they have real weapons. Well, <laughs> this might be the end of the colony. Holy hell, dude. Triple rocket launcher and a charge SMG. Oh, boy. That's not good. Oh fuck! <laughs> All right, guys, let's uh, let's get us drafted up here. Um, where are they going? Okay, we really don't want to have everyone together. Um, okay, Mr. Noodle, you can stay back there. Chocobo, I guess, like here at these rocks and Rue you also have a small weapon like over here because that rocket launcher will be really bad if it uh if it hits us oh god Chris is he the one with the triple rocket launcher he is which way are you firing I think you're firing at Rue we'll get noodle to move to oh god they have shields Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Hey, guys. I think... Uh, <laughs> I think this is GG. I don't think there's any way I can fight this, man. Chocobo's down. Chocobo is down. Um, in seven hours, gonna die. Rue's down now. Uh, come on, Greg. Chocobo's dead. Okay. Um, we got We got one of them down. There goes our cook, though, dude. Our fucking cook. Greg's taking hits. Okay. So the dude with the rocket launcher's down. But ooh, because of that shield, though, we can't do shit. Burnout. Okay, so it's about to burn out. Good, good, good. Okay, Greg, come up. Oh, God, Greg, you're taking so many hits. There's another one? Wait, there were multiple groups? Oh, no, that's bad. That's bad, bad. And Greg's down. Well, guys, uh, I think that's the end of the, the run. Kidnap who they can and leave. 
you killed Chocobo. You're kidnapping Greg. Why isn't this one leaving? That one's leaving. And now Mr. Noodle's down. Greg was kidnapped. We got a man in black to help out. <laughs> and Blitz is still angry. So, like, he's still gonna fuck shit up, dude. Okay, you got a shot on him. Good, good, good. What's your shooting skill? Five. It's not terrible. He's got better cover than you have, though. Oh, God. The man in black's gonna die next. Okay, maybe right by the fire is not the best place to hang out. Hoping we can, like, cut off his... Some of his cover there, but I, I don't... Medical emergency, that's probably Noodle, yep. Come on, Blitz, just die already, my guy. You're high on Yayo? <laughs> You're dying in four hours. Just just go down. And the man in black just went down. Well, we just fast forward through our doom here. Mr. Noodle, only one hour left. Rue death in nine hours. Marshall, you're about to burn to death unless you figure out how to get up. Oh, man. Carl was now sad wandering. Greg was kidnapped. Chocobo died. Eulogies, yeah. Yep, no, no rolls. Mr. Noodle's dead. And Carl just got shot. Oh, it's Blitz. Blitz hasn't had enough yet. He's 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 not done. He's got to keep fucking with us by killing our dog, Carl of all people. What did Carl do wrong, man? And now Blitz is gonna slowly slowly bleed to death. Did the man in black die? Wait. Oh no, the man in black's up. What are you doing, man? Why? <laughs> oh. You can't firefight, and you're not set to doctor by default. So the colony's just gonna burn down. Marshall cannot walk. <laughs> they got to the bed to get medical help and then weren't able to walk any farther. So that I was hoping they could save Rue, because then Rue could help him out, but well this is uh yeah, this is a good ending. Oh, the the prisoners, man. I'm sorry, guys. There goes Rue. Everyone is dead or gone. This story is over. Perhaps someone else will find a use for this ruins for the ruins of this place. There goes Noodle's house. The prison is slowly burning down. It's getting hot in there. Those prisoners aren't going to make it much longer. I wish I could open the doors for you guys. Everyone dead. They're laying down. <laughs> Just got an, inter <laughs> got an achievement for having an average mood of less than 5%, you think? Everyone's literally dead. I don't think they have a mood right now. Roofs are collapsing. The fire's gone out. Yep. Well. <laughs> Normally we would go for like another hour, but uh, yeah, dude, I think that's, uh, I think that's it. We'll, uh, we'll start preparing for the next one. Um, in the meantime, I guess, until the expansion drops, because, again, I think it's supposed to be sometime this month, but I don't know when exactly. Maybe what we'll do is just have a, a vanilla run or something like that, or just practice run with the mods that we have. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But in the meantime, let's uh, go ahead and quit to main menu. Confirm.
and then mods oh no that's the mod options we want to go to options no wait yeah no i had it right the first time okay so we want to just switch to vanilla basically um do we have to keep oh nope kind of have to keep core uh royalty all that stuff there should be like a button i thought go back damn it oh god everything broke uh everything <laughs> okay uh it's fine we'll just have to do it the slow way camera plus oh here we go okay mass no not unsubscribe Reset to blank mod list. Yes. There we go. Okay. So, we have, like, the the important stuff in. Um, Pugs lib. <laughs> the arms of an angel. Oh, God. Uh, okay. So, let's figure out what we actually want. To use so children are now in the game so we don't need birds and the bees tweaks galore i do want that one in still if it works all memories fade i like that one the allow tool definitely animal tab um this mod is now mostly part of the game okay so we'll just leave that one area unlocker no, we don't need that. Auto cut blight, yes, please. Backup power. Well, that's neat. Sure, we'll keep that one in, assuming it works. Set up different policies and switch them. Nah. Better workshop manager. So there's another one of these types of mods that, that I've seen um, that I really like. So I'm probably going to try to figure out what that one is. Colony management. Common sense. I don't know if I like common sense. Damage indicators are cool. Don't block doors. We're going to leave out... Well, the doormats are small, and I like them. Bad hygiene. That's something that I really like in the game, so we're going to keep that. Uh, Rheumatomics, no. Prepare carefully, always. Fill vanishes with rain, yes. Follow me, yes. Hospitality, yes. Interaction bubbles, sure. Level up. This this is just little stuff, by the way. We'll go over everything here in a moment. But most of the stuff that I'm uh, throwing out over here are just like little tiny things. They just make s small, small, small changes. Um, go ahead and put that in. Quality colors, quality builder. Most of these are what I would basically consider, like, essential. Restricted rim effect. No, we don't need any of the rim effect. Rim HUD? Um, leave that out for now. Smart medicine? Yes. Stack double XL? Yes. Tech advancing? I don't think I ever got that one to work. Vanilla achievements. Oh, okay, so this is all like the expansion stuff. We'll leave all that out for now. All the vanilla stuff. I the really cool mods. Don't get me wrong, but work tab. Where's my weapon? And then this stuff is already out of date. So probably not gonna mess with any of it. Yeah. Okay. So is there like an auto mod list thing? Or auto sorter, rather. I mean, nothing seems broken at the time being. So let's go ahead and go over what I'm most likely going to leave in. Like I said, we'll do a little test run with it to see if there's anything that we need to add or or um, any other stuff that we, we want to remove. But the mod manager is just this right here, the mod manager. So tweaks galore just lets you tweak different settings as you see fit. So just more options, basically. Where's my weapon is supposed to, whenever they get up, they've re-equipped the same weapon that they went down with. All memories fade whenever, like, say, your spouse dies, Mr. Noodle, cough, cough. Uh, it, it, that memory will slowly fade so that you 
don't have that negative effect for as long. The work tab. Do we actually need it? This is the one that lets us have like nine levels of priority and whatnot. I do kind of like it. The allow tool just lets you to mass allow or unallow things or whatever. Quality builder lets you, instead of manually like micromanaging sitting there and rebuilding the same thing over and over and over again to get a better quality bed or something like that, you can just have this mod do it for you. Stack double XL increases the size of stacks. Smart medicine. Doctors use medicine from their inventory, uh, from the patient's inventory, etc. Um, if it's not an urgent wound, they'll use lower quality medicine and then higher quality stuff for more urgent stuff. Research Pal is just a better research tree. Replace stuff lets you actually, so like if you wanted to, with the picture here, what it's showing, if you wanted to go from wood to steel walls or stone walls, I guess that is, instead of tearing down the whole building, you can just build over top of it. Relationships tab just gives you a better um, relationships tab. <laughs> Same with the medical tab. Quality colors just highlights things in different colors for the quality, make it easier to see. Pick up and haul. This one's not strictly necessary, but it's supposed to make it a little bit more convenient. Moving things around are a little bit more uh, optimized when you're moving things around. The pharmacist mod, it's actually very similar to smart medicine in a lot of ways. So I, I don't know if we need mo both. Pharmacist allows you to set the maximum level of medicine that may be used for certain treatments. Doctor will use the best medicine that is available. And that is at most the level of the target's medical care setting in the pharmacist's device. Four level injuries are distinguished. Maybe... We'll keep both. I don't know if they work together that way. Interaction bubbles literally just gives you little bubbles when people are talking. Level up just shows a little message when people level up. Hospitality, that's the one that lets uh, people come and stay at your colony. Follow me is uh, what I use so the camera follows around people. Phil vanishes with rain. That one's super easy, man. It's just uh, if there's a bunch of blood and stuff outside. When it rains, it washes that stuff away. That makes sense. EDB, prepare carefully. That one just lets you whenever you're making a new colony uh you can like change a lot of settings of people and stuff like that auto cut blight it's in the name backup power basically in the name dubs bad hygiene adds the baths and toilets and all that shit doormat adds doormats camera plus um does some things with the camera so you can like zoom out farther and stuff like that don't block door this tells the pawns to not sit stuff in doorways Damage indicators just gives little pop-ups. And then Colony Manager is the management mod. All pretty simple stuff. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save this mod list. Export. Uh, you know what? We'll come back to it after we... Game will restart automatically. Okay. Hopefully the game won't take as long to load now either since we have a much smaller mod list. And specifically one that doesn't add as much stuff. Because the other one that I had, I had like all those vanilla mods, so it added a bunch of stuff to the game. So the game legitimately took like five minutes to load, man. Which is just uh, ridiculous, honestly. But what you gonna do? Yeah, that was so much quicker. Okay. Mods. Um, I didn't have anything pop up and yell at me, so that's good. Uh, I do want to find real quick. Rim World. Um work bench mod I guess because like I like the one where is it improved workbenches there's one where you can like make stuff per colony with extras and just all different kinds of stuff like that is it this one improved workbenches Rim world improved uh, the improved workbenches. Better workbench management. I think that's the one I have, right? Count equipped option, copy all, pasting. Okay, bill set to resume, button add next to each bill. Yeah, no, that's the one that I'm using already, I'm pretty sure. 
Um, I am PRO improved work benches. I don't know. I'll have to look at. I'm pretty sure Quill 18 is someone that I really like to watch play RimWorld and, and, well, different stuff in general, really. I'm pretty sure he has like a uh, mod list that he uses on Steam. And I know he's one of the people that were using that, that mod that I thought was really neat. Um, that shows like the, the extra options whenever you. for, for bills, right? For the like make x per colony and stuff like that which is pretty cool so i'll probably go through his mod list off stream and maybe go from there but first let's just make sure that it's at least working with what we have right now so we're just gonna very quickly make a new colony we're not gonna worry about any of the settings or anything like that because we're not actually going to be playing this one i just want to get in the game and make sure that the current mod load order isn't broken Select random site, next, and confirm. Uh, we're going to, yeah, just leave ideology off right now. Start with the default people. Just make sure it works. It looks like it works, okay. Good. Can I, because one thing that I had that was weird, one game I couldn't right click anything, but it looks like, it looks like it's okay. I can tell people to do stuff. I can tell you to pick up medicine. I can tell you to eat food. Okay, good, good, good. So yeah, I'm going to look at that mod list, go through it, maybe add a couple more, just quality of life stuff for the most part, not really going to add much more. And, uh, yeah, not this week, but next week we'll probably be playing more RimWorld. I should be available on Friday next, the week after next. That's my, my vacation week, so I'm just thinking, yeah, I don't think I have anything going on Friday. So maybe by then the new expansion will have dropped and we'll be able to go straight into the new game. If not, then we'll either do a test run of RimWorld or maybe we'll do one extra week of Civ. I don't know. We'll figure it out then. But anyways, guys, as for tonight, thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a bit. I do appreciate it as always. Uh, real quick reminder that any votes on the games that I don't own, the ones that we still need to pick up, are currently worth times 100. So if you have any... Uh, picks for that make sure you get them in soon before that starts dropping but anyways as always be kind to each other and have a good night y'all bye bye now in the original though or only a remake thing because i don't remember seeing a way to access the attic <laughs>